Hi, I'm Catherine, and like all of my colleagues at MaxiZoo, I'm trained in pet care and nutrition. We've made this video today to discuss a little with you about living in a multi-pet household. That is to say, a home where you have more than one species of pet. Many of us know that different species can live together quite happily and quite harmoniously, but sometimes you will need to play the role of mediator and take precautions to keep everybody safe and happy. One of the first things you need to consider when you have a multi-pet household is your feeding routine. For instance, cats like to graze, they like to eat up to 16 times a day. Now, this is fine if you want to feed ad lib and you can leave their food out day long. However, dogs are opportunists and if your dog happens upon a bowl full of tasty cat food, chances are they're going to wolf it down. Now, while this may seem harmless, bear in mind that your cat's dinner for the day has just been eaten and also cat food is much higher in fat and protein than dog food. So if your dog makes a habit of this, you could see rapid weight gain for them. Another thing you need to consider is how safe your pets feel. We believe it's important for your pets to each have their own space, especially in a multi-species household. For instance, give your cat a tall cat tree where they can have a safe sanctuary at the top of the tree to view their lands without feeling threatened by the dog's inquisitive nose. Or if you have rodents and cats in the same household, perhaps you'll need to keep a door closed at all times between the rodents and the cats to make sure they're not bothered. Something else worth considering is if you keep rodents such as, we'll say, guinea pigs and rabbits, some people seem to think that they would make great hutch companions. This is not the case. They don't communicate with each other as readily as some people would like to believe and unfortunately this can lead to conflict which can cause serious harm for either party. Bear in mind each species needs their own living quarters. When you're choosing different species to live in a home consider your space and make sure that you do have enough room and do have the facilities in your house to house them all safely and comfortably. Remember, no matter how long your pets have been living together, there's always the possibility for a hiccup along the way. It's important because of this to be vigilant for signs of stress amongst your pets. In dogs, this may manifest as excessive barking or perhaps a previously house trained dog might start soiling inside. Cats can be very vocal if they're upset and also you may find that they're over grooming not necessarily leading to bald patches, but even in the amount of time they spend grooming. Birds, ironically, are similar to cats in that their signs of stress often include vocalization and again, over grooming, which can come in the form of feather plucking. With birds, you will quite obviously see bald patches if they are stressed and feather plucking too much. For rodents, again, vocalization can show a sign of distress and also, you may find that they're losing weight or they're suddenly very edgy or nervous of even your handling when they were previously calm. Although there can be hiccups and there can be trials, living in a multi-pet home that is happy and harmonious is absolutely possible. It just requires patience and calm from all parties. If you require any more help or any more advice on living in a multi-pet home, why not pop into your nearest Maxi Zoo store where any of our trained pet advisors will be happy to help you. You can also find more information on both our website, www.maxizoo.ie, or our Facebook page. I'm Catherine, this is Freya, this sleeping beauty is Pam, and thank you for watching today.